こんにちは、皆さん。はじめまして、マックスです。お願いします。ボンジュー、コモトリブジュー、マッペリマックス。よろぶねのはせよ、マックスにみだ。Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another brand new live video. For the girls, for the children, and for the Carmela fantasy. Woo! You guys, Carmela is here, and I'm gonna do a video that、um, I think a lot of people have wanted to see for a really long time. And I don't, it doesn't really happen that often. And today、um, she called me and she was like, I have a broken nail. So today I'm going to show you guys how to repair a one, two, three go nail because Carmela was partying really hard this weekend. She broke two nails, so actually three. So we're going to fix two here on Instagram and we're going to fix one on TikTok. And I'm going to show you guys how we're going to take them off. Without any damage to her natural nail, and then repair them because we only did them what, like a week and a half yeah. ago?、Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's she still like, they still look really good. Yeah, they do. Like, they've barely grown out at all. So, I'm really excited for you guys. So, take notes on how to repair a broken one, two, three, go nail. And I think she broke them because she was doing things she wasn't supposed to do. <laughs> no, no. She was sticking her finger in things she wasn't supposed to stick yeah, it in. Yeah, was. See what happens. That's what happens when you party、Got、hard like Carmela. That's what happens when you take Crown Royal. What else did you drink? Henny. Hennessy. I'm probably in the r o o And something else she doesn't remember. That's the kind of weekend、oh, that Carmela has. A hard mic lemonade. A hard mic lemonade. Wow, that's. Yeah, that's a, lot. a lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. Among other substances. We were sick. <laughs> so yesterday you were probably like super hungover? Yeah. Everything sounded good as far as food and stuff. Oh. <laughs> Did you have like Clamato? Isn't that good for a hangover? They say it, but I had. Or I Caldo? Had, well, I, before I went to bed, I took a ton on. Or a birria? Some birria? Mm, you're, you're supposed to have like soup. Oh, that sounds bomb. Actually, what I, when, I've been,、uh, when I've been in Korea, they have something、mm -hmm. called hangover soup. Yeah. I'm not sure what's in it because I never had it because I don't drink. But Probably the chili, chili, the chili I think it is spicy and it's like made with like bone yeah, or blood or something. Ooh, Sorry, guys. But I'm not a big drinker, so I don't know. Hi, Cindy. Thanks for joining us today. Hello, hello. So, you guys, we have officially started our nine year anniversary sale. Can you believe that? TikTok, right?、Yeah, uh, no, Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Fuck. Oh, well, pho is like a breakfast. Well, I guess if you have a hangover, pho in the morning sounds really good. I love me a good.、Um, I'm not a big fan of pho, but I like other Vietnamese soups. And then my favorite Vietnamese dish is not that easy to find. It's called tit kaw. And it's like pork fat with brown sugar, coconut milk, and egg. Oh my god, it's so good. Over rice, that is the best Vietnamese dish ever. Yeah, I, oh my god. I haven't had it in a while because it's really fattening. Cindy Chris says you can have the soup without, you can't have the soup without drinking. <laughs> Or another beer to chase it, right? I,、uh, Keep it going. Adrian Pell said that's why we call pho here in New Orleans. Hangover soup. Hangover soup. So, you guys, this month marks our nine year anniversary of enocouture.com. So, technically, enocouture.com was started. July 14th, 2014, but it didn't get funded until September. So, September is a month that like everything like started coming together and things like that. That's why I consider this month our anniversary month. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, so nine years.、That's、it took、cool. about one year for everything to get developed and for us to manufacture everything and then to get launched. So, it's been quite a journey. So, I am、and、so look at thankful. Where you're at now. Look at us now.、Yeah. So, to celebrate our nine year anniversary, we're having 35% off with your promo code PINK35. Again, that promo code is PINK35. That will save you guys 35% off your entire purchase on every single item here at yonkotour.com. And we're also going to be dropping some more new things this month as well, too. Probably some new gel colors and other things that I won't talk about. But don't forget, oh, thank you, I appreciate that. But don't forget, you can also use that promo code. For things that are already on clearance, it's like literally 50% off items or even more because some things are $1, like all of our foil kits, all of the uh, foil kits, uh, stickers. Uh, what else is $1? The 1, 2, 3 go party nails, which are part, pre our press on nails like our, that are pre designed and things like that for short term use, those are also $1 because they're getting completely clearanced out for other fantasies like refill sizes. And the Black Label series, I which I won't talk about too much of what the Black Label series, but if Ricky Loop is watching, I was actually talking to him today and he got the, some details about the Black Label print, about the Black Label 1, 2, 3, Go nails, which are quite exciting. Oh, the Colored Acrylics, that's right, because we're reintroducing and relaunching the Colored Acrylic series. And、um, I think towards the end of the month, we're going to do Aloha、uh, Glow in the Dark Orange for Halloween. 
So glow in the dark orange, and then we're also gonna do a Halloween glitter mix, which is really pretty too. So enough of me rambling, you guys. Let's turn this camera around, take off Carmilla's broken nails, and replace them. And then hopefully we can save this video because the design that we did it was really pretty and it didn't save last time. My hair looks very clean. I washed it today, this morning. I usually shower at night, but today I showered in the morning. Okay, so Carmela has three broken, so we're gonna remove one on TikTok and then we're gonna do two here on Instagram. So let us start by, we're gonna cut the nail with our nail clipper we're going to cut it as short as possible okay and then we're going to go in with our nail drill and i'm going to use two bits today i'm actually going to add also a little bit of cuticle oil to her nails and this will help reduce the dust thank you this, this is, i love the garnet from my life yes remember it used to have a hole yeah nah no i love it so I'm gonna add a little bit of cuticle oil to her nail. Yes. This is the way the boxes that it comes in, everything that's in it, and then the paper and And the weights, do you get the weights? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. perfect. One, two, and three, and then what kind of boxes are in it? And do you, you took pictures, right? Yes, I took videos, pictures. It's ready to go. Yes. So we're going to take our twister bit, which is the most coarse bit, and that oil is gonna help the dust not become airborne and make it more heavy. And we're gonna start filing the nail in a downward direction and we're gonna file as thin as possible. Then I'm gonna ask my girls to love that ring, thank you. Did you watch any good movies this weekend, Carmelo? No, I haven't watched any to get into something. I watched two movies yesterday. I saw one with Ben Affleck and Ana de Armas called Deep Water. Have you seen that one? Uh, yeah, I did. But On yeah. Hulu? Yeah, I've seen it, but I can't remember exactly, but I've never seen it. It was pretty good. Did it hurt when you broke? No, it didn't hurt when I broke the nails. Because she was drunk. <laughs> and then, <laughs> D. Wolverton says, famous. Hi, my love. Thanks for joining us today. And you guys can see how heavy that dust is. And I'm not using any pressure. Let the machine do the work for you, okay? Very, very gently. If you feel any heat, just let me know. But so far, look at that. We're trying to take the nail down as thin as possible so that way we can reapply the Fantasia. And the bit I'm using is the twister bit. And this is our coarsest bit that we have. And the pressure that I'm using is like I'm uh, frosting a cake. I let the machine do the work for me. And the drill that I'm using, of course, is the mini toy nail drill. And I'm using it at 38,000 RPM right now. Almost full power. What did you guys do this week? And let me know in the comments below. My parents are still in Mexico. Must be nice, huh? They're like, we're not coming back. My cousin, one of my cousins had a birthday party for her son. I think it's like five or six. And my mom was so excited to go. And she was like, do you want to go? And I was like, I mean, I have to work. And what am I going to do at a kid's party? I love kid's parties now. Before. Really? Yeah. Before I wasn't really too fond of them. But now that I got Ernie, I'm like, I love them. I'm not a big fan of kid's parties. They're loud. Kids are running around. Maybe if I had kids. Yeah. Well, you kind of have a kid, Ernie. Who? Ernie. No, she's my brother's son. I Daughter. Know, but she could still be there. <laughs> no, she can't. No. She has she has a mother and she has a father. Uh, I don't like anybody to call me uncle either. No. No, like Roundface doesn't call me uncle. She calls me by my name. That's my name. Jasmine too, my niece. That I think she's six. She calls me by my name too. Yeah, nobody. I don't like that. You was with my fiance was sick in bed all weekend, so we didn't do anything. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Are right, is he feeling better now? It makes me feel old if somebody calls me that. Sorry? Call your uncle? Yes. Well, you know, I've never really had that, uh, what do you call it, because my sister doesn't have kids. <coughs> what but about she, somebody to call you but, Nina? No, I know. She has 
two of my grandsons and and one of my um, other cousins' babies. So mm -hmm. it's her baby now. So like he's my nephew. He's like my first nephew. Mm -hmm. So now I'm using the golden oh, sorry, okay. smooth top barrel bit, and I am thinning out the nail, the bubble gum gel as thin as possible and then I'm gonna apply a little bit of remover magic actually to our natural nail well not to the natural nail to the one to the bubblegum gel and that'll help remove it and then we're gonna leave it on for just a few minutes Cindy because I don't like parties sometimes but once I'm there I have fun chatting and eating that's me too though. she starts getting in the groove me too. the dancing elephant seven to three system what bits do you recommend for a beginner? Um, what do you want to do? Do you want to prep the nail? Do you want to thaw, like blend in the cuticle area? Which one are you looking for? What, what are you trying to do? Let me know what you're trying to do and then I can better point you to what is going to work best. Does that make sense? Where is my remover magic? What do I do with it? Oh, that's good. We'll use our pads then. So prep and blend, use. she said. Prep and blend. So the Russian manicure drill bit set, and then also the the pink diamond drill bit set is great too, and you can get both of them right now for thirty five percent off with promo code pink thirty five. And the sets have like literally everything you need to get started, and then you can start adding more bits a la carte later on when you start playing around more with the fantasy and get used to working with bits and drills and all that magic so I'm taking my nail remover pads and these are pre-soaked and they don't dry out the hand actually these work so good too they, they help get them off. yeah like in five to ten minutes mm -hmm. so we have five minutes to kill you guys so ask lots of questions yeah that's enough and said thank you you're welcome there we go so now we wait I know the people are like, I want to see a one, two, three, go removal. Here it is, live in person. So now we have to kill five minutes, you guys. Let me know what you want to talk about. Cindy Chris says they're like magic, yes, they are. Aren't they great? <laughs> they really are, and they're super convenient because they're really no mess. They make everything so fast and easy, and they smell really nice, actually, too. And the formula that we manufacture is non drying, so you don't have to worry about <coughs> um, dry skin or anything like that because they have moisturizer built in. Who's that? D. Wolverton said those remover pads are the best. Aren't they? Sydney Chris says, what speed did you use the twister bit on? I used it pretty high. I used it almost full speed. So I used it at 38,000 RPM. But if you want to, you can go full speed too. Just make sure you don't use any pressure. So right now I'm just cleaning my bit with my manicure brush. Just go in and... Cindy Chris said, I love the scents of the acrylics. They do smell so good. Mm -hmm. See, that is just dry product right there. Just go in with your bit after you soak it and dust off. And then I also soaked a little bit my diamond buffer bit, which is ultra fine. Cinemaca said, what, which e-file is the best one? The Alfa Romeo of nail drills, the mini toy nail drill. And I've had mine <coughs> since this model launched and I've never had any issue with it. And we sold over a thousand, maybe like, geez, how many nail drills have we A lot, maybe like four to 5,000 of these units and they're incredible. And they're really pretty too. Yeah, they are. And we have, of course, different nail drills too. We have some that are less expensive, but they're also not as powerful and long lasting. That's the difference, you know, if you buy a nail drill that's gonna cost you a hundred dollars versus one that's gonna cost you a few hundred dollars, you know, there's a lot of different components. And what makes this really special is that the handpiece is something called brushless. So cheaper nail drills, their handpiece has something called a ball bearing inside and that, and that spins and that's what makes the drill rotate. So this runs on air. So that way there's no ball bearing inside of it, which is why it lasts a lot longer. And it's really quiet too. Cindy Chris says, what are you doing on her nails today? We're gonna do the same design. So we're just gonna repair the two that were broken. Dee Wolverton says, can the brush cleaner be used on any brushes or gel brushes only? 
Uh, have you read the description yet? It's for like synthetic brushes. So any kind of art brush, any kind of gel brush. Um, if you're use doing it for acrylic, I wouldn't. I would just clean my acrylic brushes in pure monomer. But any other kind of brush, then you should be fine. I read and now said my favorite drill. Isn't she everything? Cinema, thanks, Max. You're welcome. Cinema says I want that drill so bad. Right now you can get it for 35 percent off. Promo code. Pink three five. My to toil, toy nail drill for over two years and it's still going strong. Like new. Battery lasts forever without needing to be charged. So I'm actually gonna clean this one of my art brushes, my 3D art brush. And then we're gonna get a little brush wipe and just roll the brush to a point. Oh my god, those are so pretty and pink. Every isn't everything like so cute and girly? Mm-hmm. And really long lasting too, like mm -hmm. I only get one of each of everything mm -hmm. because it lasts so long. Yes, and then to clean everything you guys, I just take my hand sanitizer on a Lux brush wipe or a nail care wipe and then I just clean. If I have anything like sticky gel residue or anything like that, this does everything. I use it to clean my surface of my table, my hand, because it's not drying. Just, she does everything. And she smells like a hospital. Cinema Michael says, has anybody seen the, the new big My Fat Greek Wedding? The Big Fat Greek Wedding. It's already out? Mm -hmm. My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3? It's already out? Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know what was out. So Black Label will be a new line. I can't talk about it. It's a surprise. Nah. I can't give away too many details about the black label one, two, three, go. Secret. <laughs> it's kind of. But it's very. It's more for like salons or like people that do nails versus kind of. At, I mean, you can use it definitely if you do your own. But um, one of the things about the black label one, two, three, go is that you don't have to blend in the cuticle. So that's one secret of the one, black label, right. is that you don't have to blend in the cuticle. You just apply the nail and it's already done. Saludos, Nails 87. Hi, thanks for joining us today. We are soaking live. We're removing two broken nails here for you guys. So that way you guys can see how easy it is and safe to remove the one, two, three, go. Because I've actually had a lot of requests for people to see. I want to see in real time how long it takes. So, we're, how long have you been soaking? Like four or five yeah, minutes? A minutes? Yeah. We're going to give it at least five minutes. That's a lot of information. No stylus. I need black labels. One, two, three. What was that? She says, I need a late black label. One, two, three. Later, 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 later. Yes. Thousand. No more, uh, no more. Uh, I'm are, not gonna tease anymore. Are all the one, two, three gonails pre-etched? Uh, I would say I, I think almost all of them are. Yes, maybe just a few shapes are. If not, then they all pretty much are right now. Hello. Hi. The dancing on this one, two, three, so I'm excited for the hoodie. Huh? She's excited for the hoodie. Oh, and it's only in two sizes, actually. It comes in 4XL and 2XL. Great, Cinema says, are you good? The Hattie Screw says, are you good? Huh? Are you good? Am I good? I am blessed. Are you?
Oh my gosh, this song. I know, it's going kind of fast. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds funny, doesn't it? Oh no. The dance my crazy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the music. What is it like, Techno? I don't even know. I didn't let you hear the time anymore. Uh -huh. I'm tired. Still tired? I'm tired because I'm here, girl. I know. That's too late. Huh? A bit. That's too late. I need more time. I need more time. So I'm going to start filing. Again with the twister bit to remove that little bit that's already soaked off. And you guys see it just rolls off like a knife through hot butter. And right now I'm using my nail drill actually at a lower speed because I've already debulked most of the nail. So we're at 23,000 RPM. I would say, can you move the camera a bit? Can't see. Oh, sorry. Magic means you're out of the I'm going in with my twister drill bit and just shaving off any part that already soaked. It's maybe a little delayed. Oh, okay. There we go. And then I'm going to soak again for another five minutes. There it is. So ask me questions, you guys. We got time to kill. Since we're... Uh... Really? I'm gonna have leftover Chinese. I had a late breakfast today, so I skipped lunch. And this is me like trying to like cut back on sodium. And here I am having Chinese food. I know. I love Chinese food. I like the salt though. Like when we make chop suey sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it comes out so good. But I'm a salty person. I don't know. I like a lot of salt. That's why when I make my foods, I don't salt it because the kids don't like it. Sarah M. says, I finally made it to your live. Hi, my love. Thanks for joining us today. Today's video is the live soak off of two broken one, two, three girls, so that way you guys can see I'll, how it's done. Other hot school says, Do you know what happened in Morocco? Uh huh. She asked if you know what happened in Morocco. Know what happened in Morocco? Santa Marco says, There's a cuticle area with the big old nails. Thinner than the rest of the nail. Mm, on the older ones, yes. On the newer ones, no. They're all pretty consistently even uh, thickness wise. Chinese is good, though. I know I love Chinese. I love Chinese food too. Ooh, my mom I says like I should have. My mom says I should have been Chinese. Yeah, I should. <laughs> the best food in the world. I've only had, out of all the countries I've been to, I've only had one bad meal in China, mm -hmm. and that was fish that was fermented for thirty days. Oh my god! It tasted like pneumonia, but everything else was delicious. And I love how, like, it's, as big as China is, it's a really big country. Um, every region has different foods, and it's not all the same. It's all no, the same. yeah. Magic Mace says, Max, what do you think of the fiber gels? What do I think of the fiber? We have a A pink that has fiber built into it, actually. But I'm not a big fan of fiber. I mean, I really don't use them that much. I think so our gels are so strong and like so beautiful that you really don't need a gel with the fiber in it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Sinamaka said there was a huge earthquake in Morocco. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Del Hadis said an earthquake occurred on Friday evening. Yeah. That's horrible, I hope. I hope everybody's okay. Yeah, our condolences out to everybody in Morocco. Okay, no. That's scary. Mm-hmm. I'd be holding on to the girl. <laughs> I've never like, actually I take that back, I have experienced one earthquake once. Yeah? I was sitting on the toilet and I was in Southern California, and then all of a sudden, like, I felt the ground burp. Just went right up. And it was a while ago. It was maybe like 
maybe like 14 or 15 and then years after, ago. After you found out everything you were using the restroom went right back up, huh? No, it was just really quick. It was like, it just, I just felt like uh, the ground move a little bit. And I was like, was that an earthquake? Uh, and it was. Oh my God, that's scary. It was really weird. But it was like, that's an earthquake? That wasn't that bad. But it was kind of scary though, too, at the same time. But I've never been like in one that's really bad. Thank the Lord. Scary. No, no, we don't want that. Mm -mm. <laughs> had to be back. Oh, Cindy Chris had had to be back in California. Yeah, it was an OC. But man, it was years ago. Jeez. I'll tell you what year it was. It was like a one second earthquake too. Queen Esther 62 said the last time I told you that my finger got swollen and started feeling. You said to drink an allergy and I uh, and it worked. Thanks, Max. You're the best. You're welcome. Nails, Max. Hi, from the UK. Hi, from the UK. What part of Jolly Old England are you watching from? Infinity124 says, So here in PA, a prisoner escaped a jail and they can't find him. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's oh my scary. Cinemaco says, Northridge earthquake in 1994 was terrible. And I was going to tell you guys what year that earthquake that I was in. Let me see. But... Ooh, says, We've had one earthquake here. NBA that I know about years ago and I thought the wind was just shaking my car because <laughs> they never get them here. I know I would feel that would you the safety too. Um, she says she's from Birmingham, UK. Oh, Birmingham. Infinity on just says went to jail for murder. Jeez. Let's see. I can says I remember that earthquake in VA. It made me nauseated. nauseated. It was in 2013. Steve Walton says, besides the black label and any plans to drop anything new soon, if you can if you can say that, that's okay. Always excited for new products. Got all the recent drops. Huh? They got all the recent drops on your products. Um, any other products dropping? Um, if I told you, then it wouldn't be a surprise. But I can tell you about... Uh, let me think. What can I tease? Hmm. Hmm. Well, the new bubblegum gel colors came out. Um, oh, glow in the dark uh, neon orange for Halloween. There you go. That's coming out really soon. The dancing objects one two three says in Hawaii a volcano is erupting. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Oh God, that and the earth could probably be crazy. Say, you don't have to say it. <laughs> it's okay. There's some surprise, you know what I mean? Mm. Cinema says, yay, new bubblegum. Are you excited for the new bubblegum jam? Mm -hmm. Steve Wilson says, awesome, I got the new bubble gum gels already. Eve Rickle says, he has the one to do gold curve nails coming out towards the end of the year. Yes, that is and correct. And he said, new gel polishes. I have a lot of gel polishes, oh my gosh, it's not even funny.
from the Olga species. What is the allergy allergy drink Max recommended that work on the itchy fingers? Do you remember? Allergy drink. Remember the one the girl just told you about that she drank? I don't know. Cinema yes. Dancing on the center pieces. Are you using the new bubble gum on Carmela today? No, we're gonna use a regular pink one so it looks the same as all of the other ones. Dave Wolverton says the new ivory is my favorite of the two. Played with it today. Oh really? What? Ivory gold. I like ivory really too. Like pink bubble gum gel. And right now you can save 35% off your entire purchase. Look at that, you guys. I think it should be ready now. I'm going to use my Golden Smooth Top Barrel bit since we don't have to be coarse. How long did we let it soak for this time? Like five minutes? Something like that. Oh, this is the note that you broke, huh? I remember that now. So there you guys have it in real time. A one, two, three, go, nail removal. Hi there, Eva, this is Ogilvy. He always recommends to take a Benadryl. Yes, but I don't know there was like an allergy. Is there an allergy drink? I've never heard of that before. Maybe they were just asking me what was the allergy medicine that you told her about. Mm-hmm. Think of real time removal. So do you ever have to replace the drill bits every other often? Um, it depends how often you use them. But I would say I replace my drill bits maybe if it's one I use a lot. It depends. So for example, if you're using a diamond drill bit, I would replace it maybe once every month. And if it's a carbide bit, you could replace it probably like once every three months the pink diamond bits also it just depends i've seen some people have their same bit for like a year so now i'm going to take my diamond buffer bit and i'm going to begin to prep the natural nail so we're going to clean out that cuticle and this bit is ultra ultra fine you guys so it will not damage the natural nail she, yeah Eva says no that girl was trying to say she took a bit of drug. okay and also make sure you avoid any kind of contact with the skin. Always leave a tiny little bit of space between the natural nail and the skin. Cindy Chris says, can you put this removal of eyes in a highlighted story so it could be easy to find? I'm gonna, uh, after the video is over, I'm going to save it and I'm gonna put it on YouTube as well too. Cause I think it's kind of boring. We were just sitting here waiting for it to come off. Back on the Stick your elbow out a little bit. There you go. A little bit. Move the camera over this way. There we go. And baby Ernie gave me this ring out of the bubble gum machine. Really? Yeah. And it hasn't turned your finger green or anything? Uh, oh, that's good. I know. It's one of the good rings from the food city. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a high quality. That's so sweet that he gave it to me. So look at how beautiful this bit goes in you guys and it cleans out everything. This bit is incredible for people with sensitive skin too because it is so fine it will not cause any damage. And then we're going to use our skinny sanding band and skinny mandrel. Even because I have some bits from two years ago but I mostly do my own nails. Yeah, if you do a lot of volume. That's when you gotta go get two more. Yes. So we're going to very gently remove the shine now with the skinny sanding band. These things sell like crazy, you guys. If you want to get one, now is the time. Especially with that anniversary sale. Don't miss out. Beautiful. And then this one. Actually, you know what I could have done since while we were soaking mm. is gotten the nail ready. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. No, it's probably delayed. Okay, there we go. Now let's hit the nail with a coat of nail prep and then a coat of primer. And look at that, you guys. Look at the health of her natural nail. No damage whatsoever. And then we're going to hit it with a little bit of primer. And don't forget, you guys. 35% off promo code. Pink 35. I know in my story video I mentioned that I said it's 30, but it's 35% off. Not from C, says hey everyone. Hi, my love. So this is seven. She might be an eight because she's got small fingers. How was your weekend? Perfect. And then the thumb. I think Natural she's a product one. is great. It takes a while to remove. Yes, that's why I got one with the drill. To make it like a little bit faster. Remove them. My last set was on for at least two months. Oh my gosh. I think the longest I've seen somebody wear one, two, three gold nails was like nine weeks. Which is a really long time. Inside, there's like over a hundred styles. So, every style, every shape. So, I'm gonna take a nail care brush wipe. Model Styling says, Yeah, my one, two, three goes last forever. They are time consuming to remove, but that's quality. I would say, like, about a good 20 minutes to remove, good 10, 20 minutes, half an hour with like having to file it off and everything like that. But, exactly. Quality. I notice when you put it on it like that, it takes it off quicker. Yes. You gotta make sure the nails like touch your inside. Cindy Kell says yes, they only come off if you want them off. And this time Carmen broke hers when she was at the club partying. <laughs> Get Getting crump. Yeah, we were at the car meet. She hit it, they hit her with the car and it flew off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're gonna put our acrylic on the inside of these. You can put your hands back because we don't need them yet. We're gonna take our flash silver acrylic. Uh, somebody has asked where the flash is. It is in the Christmas acrylic section because that's when it originally launched. But if you guys are having a hard time finding it, let me know and I'll just go ahead and make a, its own page for the flash acrylic. Infinity 124 says parting too hard. She yeah, really yeah. did. We drank a lot. The dancing elephant on to three said it's better to break the nail while drunk. <laughs> yeah. So that way you have no recollection of it. Until the morning when it's sore and you're like, ah. Oh, what know. happened? Uh, Where was I? Too late at that point. <laughs> Just got the frozen glitter acrylic today. It's amazing. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Have you tried the flash one? You know, our flash gel 147 is so popular and famous. This is the same product, but in acrylic form. Mm -hmm. And it also, yes, and it also, we also have it in, um, what do you call it? In Happy Gel. In the small Happy Gels. A little bit more. I should have done this while we were soaking. Mm. I'm gonna do that on the other hand though. There we go. So how long did it take to uh, take off the nail, you guys? 10 minutes at the most. I'm gonna let that polymerize and then I'm gonna hit her natural nail with the coat of, I'm gonna use clear press-on gel today as my base. I love the opal and black flash gel. Oh, those are really beautiful. Black diamond is really popular, especially now that we're getting into like the change of weather. So a little coat of clear press on gel. This is going to be our base. And let's go ahead and bake this now for one minute. Nails Anthony says, I've been using the acrylic technique with the one, two, three, go nails. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so fast and easy, right? It's so fab.
I'm obsessed. Dancing Elephant 23 says, do you fill in the tip if it's extra pointed like that? Do I fill in the tip? Yes. The whole edge. But I, oh, remember, you can only encapsulate up to 70% of the nail. Oh, there's no more orders? There is, but my mom's not reading them right now. Right oh, that's okay. She doesn't have her last name. Why, Carmela? Where did you lose them? Did you didn't find them? No. Yeah. I bought acrid gel, but I can't remember how to use it. You use it the same way you would happy gel. Has it been a minute? Almost. Ten seconds. It's okay, I'll put it up. You gonna go party now, Carousel, son? Eva says I use the black flash gel on my daughter's senior prom nails. Do you file the tip, fill in the tip if extra pointed like that? So yes, the whole free edge has the glitter inside. And then we're gonna apply them with pink bubble gum gel. Little bullet, little Easy and looks amazing. I bought the acrylic gel, but can't remember how it can be used. Oh, I read that one already. The okay. same as you would happy gel. So any kind of like poly type product. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to take pink bubblegum gel. And we're going to apply the inside. Just like that. And then remember you guys, keep it really thin. The thinner it is, the least amount of trouble you'll have. Make sure it's not wonky. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna flash cure it with my flashy lamp. Now the thumb. Good as new, huh, Carmel? Mm -hmm. Remember, apply it really thin. And then freeze it for a few seconds. And let's check the inside, make sure there's no product that ran off. No, beautiful. So I'm gonna seal the inside with a little bit of just shiny gel, plain old shiny. And this thumb. Look at that. When you apply it really thin, neuroproduct runs. So you don't get that naga on the inside. Mm. Okay, let's go ahead and bake that now for one whole minute. Oh, sure. Remember, you guys, if you feel the crump, all you have to do is press the low heat mode on the lamp. And that will turn down any heat. So that way the lamp will gradually get stronger as the curing goes on. So it'll start really low, and then as the time passes by, it'll gradually increase the power. The shape of the nail is maximum stiletto, which is part of the maximum series. So there's three, there's maximum stiletto, maximum square, and maximum coffin, and all three of them are long and flat and bulky, boxy. So like very like square looking. And then we're just gonna file the cuticle a little bit because she doesn't really have that much cuticle to file. So we're gonna use the refined bits. Nails by Anthony says, what tip shapes are these nails? Oh, I just answered that one. Oh, did you? Okay. Yes. Poor Carmen, she can't see. Sorry. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't gotten uh, LASIK. Oh, no, I should. It's free through if you got Medicare. Yeah, probably. 
And it's like really fast. And you know what though? My eyes are just started getting bad. Really? Just recently. My dad had something like laser procedure into his eyes years ago. And my mom said that was the only time she ever heard my... Because my dad has had everything yeah. like medically wise. Yeah. She said that's the only time she heard him scream. Because it hurt him so bad. It would hurt though. Your eyes. I was like, you just get a little dust in your eye and that hurts. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. So I'm going to use my refine bit and we're just going to really gently blend in that cuticle. Make sure I'm in frame for you guys. And you can see it's very little blending we have to do. Beautiful. So now we're going to buff the surface of the nail. Is the lighting good for you guys too? Let me know in the comments below. So I'm buffing the whole nail surface. So because the design is encapsulated, you don't have to apply velvet to the base of the nail. If I was using a color underneath, definitely apply a coat of velvet gel, fully cure that, and then go in with your ink designs, okay? But since we're buffing the nail, that's gonna create our textured surface, so that way we can go in with our Maxi Neon inks for the Miami Stripper Vibes. Cindy Kisses, my son keeps telling me to get by the practice hand. Oh, there's so much fun to use. The glitter is so pretty down there. Isn't is. she? Just like that little one, so pretty. So we're going to remove the dust. And then we're going to go in with Maxi Neon ink sets. Yes, it's perfect. We're going to use three colors. We're going to use pink, green, and orange. So shake them up a little bit. For the Miami vibes. They're good for Halloween too. Mm. You realize I bought one in the silicone hands, but I never used it. <laughs> you know, some people love the silicone hands, other people find them a little bit harder to work with. They're great for like posing, but for actually practicing, I like the give me hand practice hand more. Mm. So now we're gonna go in with orange. Reverses. I wish you'd come out with liquid chromes. I don't have any plans to come out with liquid chromes. We have the Aurora Chrome series and all the other ones. So it, it feels like having too much of the same. Plus liquid chromes evaporate really fast. Their shelf life is really short. So you're going to get your liquid chrome, you're going to open it. And if you don't use it really soon, it's all going to dry up. Cindy Cruz says, I only do my own nails. I don't do it if I need a hand. So trust me, they're not... They're more flash than they are practical. Evil just says, I love my practice hand. I just do my own nails, but have so much stuff that practice is great for practicing. Or if you want to like try to design or even just like to do something like relaxing. It's like knitting. <laughs> yeah. I heard Madonna likes to knit too, actually. Does she? Mm-hmm. I think it's common. Have you tried it before? I've, d I've done a little bit where, like, you know how I used to connect it and do the loops and stuff? Mm-hmm. I used to be... My mom used to do a lot of that stuff. She used to do, like, a lot of hand crafts and stuff. Like Knitting sweaters and whatnot. Yeah, what do you call it? The interior uh, parties all the time. You know that? Let's let that dry for a few seconds. How do you know when ink is dry? When it looks kind of satiny matte. And a few other pressed chromes. Oh, they're so dope. And they're so much more easier and long lasting too. Trust, I would never make something that's like a crash gra cash grab. And I definitely think that liquid chromes are a cash grab. Eva says, I have all the work, a lot of chromes and a few of the other pressed chrome colors. Look at that, you guys, how beautiful that is. I use peach water on the set and I'm wearing now and it's beautiful. Are the Aurora Chromes, especially like the blue one or the lavender Even one, the peach one, over like a French nail is really pretty too. Very ethereal looking. 
you know, to zigzag it. I play the nails still for them board. And it changed, I change my designs often. Oh, that's good. Try different things all the time. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and bake this bad boy now for one minute. Make sure the hand's all the way in. Especially with longer nails, you want to make sure that you don't leave any gaps or that the hand is all the way inside. So that way it can fully cure and you don't have any issues. And then we're going to hit it with cotton candy cuticle oil. Where is it? There we go. This smells so delicious and the bottle is so pretty. Would you make a UV glove? And the answer is no. Why would I not make a UV glove? Because the UV rays that the Darling or any one of our lamps, like the Barbie lamp, cookie lamps, admit are so minimal, you're more likely to get a tan from being outside in the sun than from our the light bulbs that we use. Hi. I know the day went by really fast today. Let's check and make sure that everything is nice and dry. I'm going to do just 10 more seconds because I want to make sure that they don't go anywhere. And then after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're going to wait 10 seconds to let the nail finish the polymerization process. And then apply cotton candy cuticle oil. So I'm going to apply it to the other nails first. And there you have it. Good as new. Look at that, you guys. Carmela is ready for another weekend bender. She does. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap up our little demo for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now you have seen the 1, 2, 3, go removal in real time and a repair. I love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. Don't forget that 35% off promo code for our nine-year anniversary and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live video bye everybody